What's up guys, I'm Matt Hernandez. This is Framed Up, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna jump into Photoshop and show you how to use content aware fill to fix flyaway hairs. We've got our image pulled up from Capture One here. So I've got my zoom tool selected. I'm gonna zoom in and you can see that there's some flyaway hairs going on here and it's not the worst thing in the world. I could probably let this go if I wanted to, but. I thought this would be a good, a good simple one to show you this technique with. So I've shown you a video, a video before on how to take a plate image and the importance of it. So you would basically take the picture of the subject, have it move out of the way, not, not recompose or refocus, and then take a picture with, of the background without him in it. Then you can lay it on top of this in Photoshop and mask it back in where you want to take away the hair. So be sure to check out that video on this same YouTube channel. Um, this is a similar technique, except not with the plate image, but we're going to basically use content aware fill to fill in where the subject is, or at least the parts that we want to mat mask away the hair. And it doesn't, it's not foolproof. It doesn't work all the time, but it, it does work with skies most of the time. And it can work if there's a pattern in the background. Like if you have, if you're shooting shallow at like 2.8 or F4, and you've got a lot of bokeh in the background, maybe like trees or something like that where everything's really blurry and there's a pattern, then th that'll work really, really well too. It doesn't work as well if everything is like, you know, sharpened and focused if you're shooting at like a higher f-stop like f11 or f16. So, so this, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we want to do is go over here to our background layer. I'm going to press command J to duplicate the background. And then, so we're going to go in next and I'm going to press L for my lasso tool and you can do, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. Um, you could select the whole subject if you want to. So if, to do that, you would go to, you can do, go over here to your select, your quick selection tool. And then you can just do select subject right there. Or you can go up here to select subject, either one. Um, so, okay, so now we've got it selected. So now we want to go to select, modify, expand because we basically we want to make sure everything is selected right now you've got some of the hair that's not and that's the part that we want to fix so you want to go to expand and then I usually pick around this is a this was shot with the Sony a1 so it's a, a 50 megapixel file so it's pretty big so 30 pixels is good for an image about that size you might you might want to play with that a little bit depending on the size of your photo so press ok you want to make sure that everything is within these marching ants so I'm gonna press L for the lasso tool again and then go in and make sure, like right here. So if you hold shift, or you can up here on, on your options, you can select the second one with the two boxes. So that basically says that you're going to add to your selection, or you can just hold shift and then create an entire shape around the part that you wanna to add to it. So I just wanna make sure all the hair is selected. Okay, there we go. Now, let's zoom back out. Command zero, and then now I'm gonna to go to, um, we're gonna to go to edit. Fill right here. And then make sure content aware is checked or is selected on the drop down right there. Or you can do the shortcut, shift command five. And if you have a laptop and you're using a monitor like me, it would be function shift command five. Content aware, color, I've got color adaption checked, 100% opacity, and press okay. All right, so now you see that it didn't do a perfect job, but it did, it did really, really well. Like this right here all looks great. The only part that I would have to fix if I didn't, if I wanted that to be a photo of just the background would just be this. Um, fortunately, we don't have to do that. That's not the point of this. So I'm going to press Command D, deselect. So now, basically, what you just you just want to make sure that your background is filled in where you're going to mask out those hairs. So let's turn off that layer. So you see, I didn't actually have all the hair selected. So let's do that one more time. I pressed Command Z a couple times to go backwards. Okay, so let's get our lasso tool again. Hold Shift, and select that part. So let's do the same thing again. Shift Command Five. Make sure content aware is checked. And there we go, okay. It did, again, same, same thing, pretty nice job. All right, deselect. Okay, now, so if we turn that on, or turn it off, turn it back on, you can see it did a really great job. It's, that's, that's a very seamless transition there, so it's not gonna, there's not gonna be any halos or anything like that. 
So now all we have to do is turn it on and I'm gonna hold option and press my mask button in my layers palette down here. So now that creates a, bl a, a, a black mask, which means that it's all gonna be invisible. So remember white reveals and black conceals on a mask. So if I hold shift and press that, then it, then it takes it away. You can see the background again, or you can see the whole layer again. Press shift to activate it, everything's hidden. So now all I have to do is get a brush, go in. Now if you hold control and option and mouse to the right, your brush gets bigger and then you get smaller to the left, up and down, makes it softer and harder. So we don't want it to be super soft, probably because we don't want it to be look too fake because we don't want to just chop them off. Although with this one, it might work pretty well. Um, normally I would want to, you know, kind of match the edge. So I don't know, 87 looks pretty good. So now we've got, we want to make black our foreground color so we can I'm sorry, white, so that we can draw on this mask and reveal it, which we have. So you can do, uh, a lot of times I'll go to like 20% flow when I'm painting stuff in. With this, I think it's okay to do 100 because it's gonna be pretty straightforward what we're doing. And so see, when you paint like that, it's just gonna, it's gonna bring back that, that layer that you just created when you filled in the subject and it's just an easy way to take out. Now normally, take out the flyways. Normally you'd have to use a clone stamp tool and sample and paint, sample and paint, sample and paint. And then also, you know, you have the issue of the halo like I was talking about earlier. With this, you just paint really quick. And again, my edge is not super hard. It's not 100%, it's 87. So there's a little bit of softness to it. So if I was at 20% flow, it would build up where I was painting, but we don't need to worry about that with this one, I don't think. I think painting in 100 is just fine. So there we go. And now we've got it nice and cleaned up. You don't want to make it perfect because that wouldn't look real. But so now if we just turn this layer off, we can see before and after. No halos, no signs of Photoshop. It did a really good job. So the other way we can do it, so let's delete that layer altogether. I selected the whole subject there. What you can also do is just select the part that you want to fix, which actually might be more efficient in a lot of, a lot of situations. So I'm going to press Command J again to duplicate it, duplicate the background layer. I'm going to press L for my lasso. And now, instead of doing select, select subject, I'm just gonna go in, because this is a pretty straightforward shape here, and draw around his head. Make sure we've got all the hair. Same thing, Shift F5, Content Aware, okay. And there we go, don't worry about that little part, weird part there, because it's not gonna matter. Command D to deselect, and then hold Option, and click the mask, and then same thing, just get our brush, by pressing the B tool, that's the quick, the shortcut to get to the brush. And then just paint it in where we want it. And like I said before, again, this works better on backgrounds that have a pattern. Uh, we have a lot of bokeh, like if there's trees behind somebody, you know, you're shooting like 2.8, F2.8 or something like that. Or if there's a sky like this. And don't get caught up on, on the sky if it doesn't, if it doesn't, um, if it doesn't fill it in perfectly, as long as it looks reasonably you know, accurate, then that's all you need to worry about. Uh, this was just a blue sky, so we didn't have to worry about that, obviously. But So there you go. That's an easy way to fix flyaway hair if you have a background that is subjected to that like this. So make sure that you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like it, share, comment, ask questions if you want to. I'll do my best to answer those. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys.